fence, guys. The bull is right here on the other side of these trees. You can see the trees moving. He might be coming straight for us. I see the tusks. Morning light finds its way through the darkness, signaling a new day has arrived in South Africa. If you manage to survive the night, it simply means that the fight to survive against all odds will once again repeat itself. No matter who you are, size doesn't matter. From the small but mighty dung beetle to the king of the savanna, this harsh world, while beautiful, is brutally unforgiving. On this adventure, the crew and I face an incredible challenge as we venture out across the Karika Game Reserve in search of its most iconic animal species, the African elephant. All right, guys, it's time to head out on a classic elephant adventure. Now, you would think that finding an elephant, something that big, would be simple. But believe it or not, they're really good at hiding into the underbrush. So today, I'm going to be using binoculars. We're going to be traveling by way of vehicle. And with any luck, we're going to get a giant tusker up close for the cameras. Iconically known as the big tusker, this massive animal is seldomly seen. Yet our field guide, Joe, is known for her ability to track and find this elusive icon. So with confidence, and the land cruiser driving us onward, we travel deeper into the bush, looking for signs of this giant. We got elephant tracks here, guys. Stop, stop. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at this. Wow. That is me standing in the track of an elephant, and not a track that's been wedged down into the ground but right here you can see an elephant used its trunk to scoop up all this loose soil and then it would have just thrown it all over its back and that's what they do. They cover themselves in dust or mud to keep cool in the middle of the day. So I'm standing in a front foot right here. Here's the other foot, another front foot that's massive in circumference and then back here you've got the two back feet. That is a huge animal. You think it could be our tusker? <sighs> could be the tusker. Look, he probably came right down this track. Check this out. Broken branches. Looks like he went right through this. That snapped off. Check that out. So he just barreled through the underbrush right across the road, and it looks like he's headed in that direction. All right, guys, I think now we need to turn the vehicle around, head the other way. We are getting close to finding the elephants. Fresh environmental indicators simply meant that an elephant had recently been in this area. Was it the big tusker? Or was it simply another rogue male? Regardless of the answers, it felt as if we were getting close to having an encounter. Elephants have one of the most well-developed senses of smell in the animal kingdom. They are also very in tune with their environments and are capable of detecting low vibrations with their ears, feet, and trunk tips. What this ultimately means is that the animal we are tracking certainly knows well in advance that humans are approaching. And despite boasting an impressive size, this giant can mysteriously disappear like a phantom into the shadowy underbrush without us ever knowing it was there. Well, this is good news, guys. We've seen some signs now. Tracks and elephant droppings. We're headed up into an open grassland here and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm hoping that this is where we're gonna find the elephants. Traveling upward provided us a higher vantage point. And it wasn't long before we found a clearing. Stop, stop, stop. Where I could scan the surrounding landscape. See something? Yes, I got an elephant. Up there on the ridge, Mario, zoom all the way in at the top crust of that ridge right there. It's almost silhouetted against the sky. 100% that's an elephant and it looks big. You think we can get up there? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. All right, guys, hold on. We're headed up the side of that mountain. From this distance, it was impossible to tell whether or not we had set sights on the big tusker. The only certainty was that we had honed in on the location of a giant. The next challenge would be getting close enough to have an encounter. So right now we're looking for trees moving or we're listening with our ears to see if we can hear them trumpeting. 
Uh, the male was with another. We don't know if it was a female or a sub-adult male. Just keep your eyes peeled, guys. We are getting close. Timing was everything as Joe navigated the rocky roads with hasty precision. A rush of adrenaline coursed through my veins as the crew and I rode in an unusual silence. I can't be certain what it was. I just had this feeling. Something was telling me that we were approaching a moment in time that would forever be held as one of the most unforgettable animal encounters of our lives. This is intense, guys. The bull is right here on the other side of these trees. You can see the trees moving. He might be coming straight for us. Something right here as well. There's two. Okay guys, it seems like the elephants are actually going the other way down the hill, so we're gonna try to swing around this cluster of bushes and see if we can get a better shot. We were so close, yet at the same time, equidistant to losing this entire episode. Without an elephant in frame, there would be nothing to share with the world. Then in fearless fashion, Joe took control of our fate as she steered us toward a collision course with the unimaginable. I see the tusks. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Coming out. Come out right there. We watched in silence. The treetops dancing as something massive crashed through the underbrush. Then almost as if manifesting from the morning haze, the shape of an elephant began to materialize. Look at this one coming out, revealing itself. That's incredible. Hi, buddy. With confidence, the young male approached the vehicle. His display was intimidating, and as a human, I don't think I have ever felt so small. Wow. Looking down the length of his trunk, past those proudly displayed tusks, and into those intelligent eyes, I could see that he was sizing up the situation. A challenging, yet curious demeanor that was in no way aggressive. We see you, there you go. That's a good boy. Trust me when I say that my heart has never raced so fast. Oh, there's another one. Standing there on the back of that vehicle, I mustered every ounce of courage I had to feel no fear in the presence of this wild elephant. You stay, big boy. We looked at each other, eyes locked, neither willing to back down to the other's challenge, despite the fact that this animal could crush the vehicle and all of us if it chose to. Yet in that moment, there was no battle to be had. And instead, we made a warm connection that I never dreamed possible. There you go, good boy, good boy. Oh, look at this guy. He's sitting down back there. For as brave as I like to believe I am, this young bull clearly realized that we were nothing but mere humans, and squishing us was certainly not worth the effort. So he decided to tussle with someone his own size. Look at him, look at him, butting heads, tusks intertwined. This is a display of territorial dominance right here. The following moments seemed to play out in slow motion as these two titans crashed into each other. The ground beneath us shook, the trees swayed, and with the magnitude of elephants, literally elephants, a battle of epic proportions played out before our very eyes. Suddenly, we found ourselves in an incredibly dangerous position as the smaller male decided to use our land cruiser as a barrier. Ah, hey, come on. When Joe means business, hey. she means business. Hey. And as we watched, hearts pounding from our chests, the elephants took their differences and rumbled down into the forest, disappearing out of sight. Sweet. Right in the middle of an elephant fight, you had the Land Cruiser right in between the two of them. It was interesting. I thought they were going to use the Land Cruiser as a dividing line like they did with the trees earlier, but you have this larger male that's just driving the smaller one back there into the underbrush. That was crazy. Probably going to make a little outtake in the episode, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was intense. That was awesome. Wow! How incredible was that? Tracking elephants across the grasslands, and we finally find them hidden down in the underbrush and have an encounter that I don't think any of us could have ever prepared for. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Since 1979, 
African elephants have lost over 50% of their range due to human encroachment. And this, along with poaching for ivory over the decades, has caused the population to greatly decline. Yet tireless conservation efforts by reserves such as Karika have helped to establish strong breeding populations that thankfully have driven the comeback of this beautiful giant. The African elephant is a force of nature unlike any other. And to witness the magnificence of these animals in the wild is a sight one will never forget. With team morale at an all-time high, we descended back into the valley, thinking our journey had come to its storybook close. Yet much to our splendor, as we rounded a bend in the rocky road, there he was, standing like a mountain in all of his glory, the one and only Big Tusker. Stay tuned for the unbelievable conclusion as we manage to get the cameras up close with Karika's most iconic bull elephant. And don't forget, subscribe, then click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.